Okay, so first I need to import the file. I'll uh, import two files here in this case, just to show how quick it can iterate. And uh, yeah, well, change stuff up. So here I have a shed, but I only need the roof part. The same with this farmhouse. I only need the roof. So first things first, I need to blast, like destroy or get rid of stuff. So I will select only this. And I'll do the same here. Only blast the roof. So I see I get some more stuff here, actually, which I don't need. Anything else? No. Good. So that's only the roof. Now, um, I will need the snow labs build up. And um, uh, let's see. I'll also need a switch to yeah, sort of pick which one to to use. So this switch easily just changes between those two meshes. <clears throat> so let's get this thing started. Uh, currently, there is not much going on here, so I need to increase the number of uh, like. I don't know. It says snow points. I guess it's just scattering a lot of vertices here and uh, try to um, merge them somehow. I don't know. Also, let's reduce polygons to like, I don't know, 2000. That actually looks quite nice. Um, yeah, one thing I should do is thicken. I get uh, so I can use this mesh to boolean the um, uh, snow. Let's connect this here. So let's see, it will calculate. You can see down here it, it is working on something. So if we remove or disable keep original, you'll see that we end up with a mesh that has been leaned. If I re uh, enable that again, it will give me a, a full mesh. I don't know which is better actually, but let's just lean for now. And uh, here's the fun thing. If I switch here, it will take the other roof and it just takes a few seconds and I get the result. Um, there, there we go. Now, what if I wanted to have like a preview with uh, the original building together with the snow. I can uh, let's actually build up here. Uh, so I'll take each of them in the same order as they are in this switch. Copy this, uh, copy this parameter and paste it into here as a uh, relative reference. So that way, now, now I'm viewing this switch. So if I'm on the control, so this switch, I should be able to control whether to show this or that. And here is the fun thing. Let's merge the buildings with the snow. So now it will calculate because I used the switch. And here we go. Here's the, the snow on this building. And if I use the controls on this switch, I can now just in a few seconds, see the shed with the snow. There we go. So basically I can import any building here. Let's try another one just for, for fun. Um, let's try. I don't know, Buddington, perhaps? Oh, there's many here. Oh, geez. Uh, I guess this is usable. No, it's not. <laughs> That's a collision mesh. Uh, well, 
Let's take the barn. Here we go. Let's blast again. Let's take only these roof meshes. I guess that's all I need. We, we want these as well. Okay. Here we go. Only those. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to thicken this just like before. I've thickened and I might have to just color this so it's easier to see what the color actually is here. Or make a quick material. No? Doesn't want to do that? Okay, whatever. I'll just do a color then. Great. So, blast. And then thicken. About like 50 or so. And <clears throat> I'll connect this to the switch as well. And I'll connect after the color into this switch. Let's view the merge node and see what happens. I haven't tried this building yet, so perhaps I get a different outcome, who knows? Um, so on this switch, I'll change to this input. Let's uh, see what happens. Look at that. Well, it's something. <laughs> perhaps it's, it, it is uh, decimating a little bit too much, but look at that. I wouldn't even have thought of doing that if I were to model this like the overhang here it's a nice touch sort of but yeah this uh this is really fast to iterate and, and change up and uh get these stove meshes going